to this area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. When you go rapping like that. Fucking kids. How we feeling, bro? Don't man? bring me no fucking kids. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get to Sue Surf. Sue Surf. I, I gotta I gotta talk about him versus John John. After further review, second watch of the battle. They got apps for that, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, some shit, I just got to see again. It is, I mean... Uh, again. Get over here. Some going John Cage. You plus four can split my back in. Five ways. I can get whatever shoot I want. LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, ch ch uh, uh, let's get to it. So, I watched the joint again, and... I seen a lot of people saying body bag. I seen a lot of people saying John John got killed. I heard the three old chance. John John Adon did comment on the three old chance. You know what I'm saying? He uh, he took to his Instagram. And he did make a comment about it. He said, "What a weekend! Heard three old chance. Have to watch it back before I agree, but definitely was an uphill battle, and I wouldn't want it other way." Salute to everybody that came to Houston on my behalf. It was, I mean, it was real, you know what I'm saying? Um, I will say this. After watching it again, I do still have Sue Surf winning and pretty clear. Uh, first round clear, third round clear. Second round is the most debatable round of the battle. Sue Surf might edge that to make it a gentleman's, but John John's second round, he did have some shit in there. You know what I'm saying? I like that whole... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not, you're not bigger than the culture. Like I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Every time you had to kick Yoshi out because you had Jazz coming over. I mean, every time you had to kick Jazz out because you had Yoshi coming over. Sue Surf, you're not bigger than the culture. Uh, every time, I don't care how long you've been sleeping on Joe Butter's sofa, you are not bigger than the culture. Like that type of shit right there. It was impactful, and he had his moments. He definitely had big moments in the battle, and. I think we need to take that into perspective. But what I will say is this, uh, Sue Surf was powerful. Uh, when John John did his all of the above, Sue Surf comes back in his second round and diffuses it by doing, you know, my lawyer gave me three options. Take it to trial, cop, or snitch. I did none of the above. Like them shits was very powerful moments and he was performing like a motherfucker. Like that like if, if the tank move or this move get a baby kiss bow bust down the hall i thought i saw some shit like he was performing like a motherfucker and he only went on to try to dispel his narrative of not being able to come with three rounds and things like that uh, when i did speak to surf before the battle he ensured me that he was coming with a third round i felt that way but i just was like you know that's my guy, but I got to see it before you know, I believe it. And I, I did believe him, though. You know what I'm saying? And then he went to Houston a couple days earlier just to be there and zone out. But <laughs> what's crazy is, if he would have came with two rounds in his battle, <laughs> he might have fucked around and made it as debatable as the other joints, which is two. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, so, Sue Surf, you know, he went on to troll John John some. He put that, that old school clip of John John. He asked for this. You know, you know the one where he battled against Jack Boy, man. He asked for this joint. He posted that shit. Sue Surf said in battle rap, 
People get often tricked into believing the term someone is only as good as their last battle. That's a lie. Someone is as good as the best you ever saw them. If you know you can go into Super Saiyan, I'm not doubting you on any bad performances. And, you know, he's not going to doubt anybody from having a bad performance when you know that they could go into Super Saiyan mode. Now, what I will say is this. On that big stage... You got it, you got it, like it's just another level. Like when people say it's levels, it's levels, it's levels, it's levels, you gotta show the difference in levels when you're on that big stage, you know what I'm saying? Like, John John had some moments, I'm not gonna hold you, a lot of the crowd wasn't trying to hear a lot of the shit that he had to say, especially in the first round. I don't know what it was, but I was like, wow, I have not seen him perform like this. And basically, niggas was just like, whatever. Whatever. Now, is that star power to a point where somebody feels like another nigga is so much of a star that they don't even want to hear? Now, that would be crazy if a nigga don't even want to hear him out. But the reactions was just, they was not the same. Like, it, it just was, it was, it was, it was definitely different. Um, the third round, he took a lot of shots at Ace Amin. I was, I was shocked that that surf was shooting at Ace Amin like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, uh, he was talking about his angle in that third was he went at John John for pulling out a strap at a battle rap event and the event still went on. Like, when you think about it, that's kind of crazy. Like, when you think about a nigga getting a burner pulled on him at an event <laughs> and the event still goes on. Like, nothing happened, nothing changed and there was no, there was no difference in what happened. Like, for, for, for you to have something like that happen and nothing stopped, like, it just, the show just kept going on. Like, the show was like, Let's just keep the show rolling. <laughs> we know he got a burner pulled out on him, but it doesn't matter. Next battle. That's crazy. Um, he shot at he shot at Ace Amin. You know, he's like, I, I gave, I, I approached him. Hey Ace, who walked up to you with that gun in real life and said you got it if you need it? But he a bitch. I would have <laughs> But he's a bitch. He said, anytime I'm trying to help somebody with rounds, it's trying to, I'm trying to help him win a war, not a battle. Who approached you with a gun and told you, I got it if you need it, but he's a bitch. Like, what? And then he said, I'll fuck you up too. Like, it, Surf was, was kind of feeling himself. Not gonna hold you. But he probably had performance, one of the performances of the night. I'm gonna leave Easy and Chess out there too. They had battle of the night. But I think Surf having three rounds. And after his second, he was like, you want one more? I got you. Like, one more? There you go. I got one more for you. Um, I think he's found himself again. And uh, if he's going to bring three rounds like that, is that Goods battle might still be on the table. Him versus Mook might still be on the table. He's got a couple of top-tier opponents. That Cal, that, why is everybody talking about Surf and Cal part two, like a rematch? Is that something niggas really want to see? Do y'all niggas really want to see Surf and Cal again? Cal needs a lot of respect because Cal was doubted by a lot of people going into the battle with Gichi Gotti. A lot of people had him like straight up getting smoked, three old body bag, et cetera, et cetera. He made that joint a lot closer and I had him winning. I even paid my bet. That's why I don't bet on battle rap because I lose all the motherfucking time. But um, he, he definitely showed up. Uh, but this is the reason why Surf can talk the way he does because he brings it on that big, big stage in a battle like this. Like versus Gishi Gotti, he brought it versus uh, this one, he brought it again. And I know, you know, there's the, the downs and shit like that too, but I just wanted to talk about after further review, watching it more than once, you know what I'm saying? I got him kind of clearly winning. Damn near gentlemen's almost every round. Uh, like I said, the second round is the closest. If you give the second round to John John, I'm not mad at you. But uh, the battle, no, I don't, I don't, um, I don't have him win the battle. And this is the things that Surf was talking about in, you know, previous dialogue before the battle, saying, you know, you only beat the niggas who, you know, oh, he said that they only you beat Mr. Wavy, like any of us would have got a 3-0 on him. They only cry and miss the wave when I'm locked. Yeah, that was a nasty one. I ain't gonna hold you. That was definitely uh, that was one. That was one for the shooters. Uh, made a lot of people proud. He made the niggas who confidently bet with him all won money. I know that much. If you confidently bet with him, 
he, he definitely uh, held you down. But see, the thing is, the reason why he takes flack is because you got to hold the people down who support you all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like when niggas get left out on the, on the, on the island, they're like, yo, I just seen you do this with this, but now you're doing this with this. Like, well, what is this? You know what I mean? Like, um, but when he comes with that white tee, no jewelry, white tee, no jewelry, no nothing, you know you're going to get straight rap. Like, he's going to give you straight rap. When there's no jewelry, white tee, it's, it's going to be straight rap. <laughs> it's like a cheat code or something, you know what I'm saying? He buys, like, VC. It's like buying VC coins on, on 2K. Salute to everybody that plays 2K. Uh, yeah, it, it, it goes there. It definitely goes there. But uh, he shot at, he shot at, uh, he was firing at Ace Amin during that battle. I don't see that as a battle potentially happening or no shit like that. Not no time soon. But, uh, because he don't battle like new guys. Like, Surf don't really battle like new niggas. All right. He was shooting at Luke Castro. He used him at the end of every single round. Math, Iron Solomon, Luke Castro, nut chases. Don't call me for anything but paper. Like, I don't know what the issue was there, but he used him in damn near all of his rounds. And um, I must say, after further review, you know what I'm saying? I got him winning. Call it how you call it. I don't want to spoil it. But, uh, you know, when y'all see it again, when it releases on the app, I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, y'all can peep the shit and y'all can call it how y'all do. But other than that, salute to every single one of the subscribers. That notification gang, y'all niggas know what it is. A big dog! This shit was a thug. One for the goofy that went for the shit. <laughs> Pull up for the party for your 21st B-Day. Yeah, yeah, 21 shots for the birthday kid. Hey, hey.